Hello and welcome back everyone, it's me Spuds and um, this will be episode 5 of the city we've been building, Spud Castle um, coming along quite nicely now nice little uh, city centre coming along there nice little community over here lovely little park we put on last week right um, what are we going to be doing today? Today we're going to be looking at this area over here. Um, we need to do quite a lot of detail in this area. Um, bring it to life properly. It's very bad at the minute. Um, so yeah, lots of um, cranes and container transfer yards and what have you. Maintenance sheds. Um, also, the other main thing I want to do is connect this forestry area over into this cargo terminal. I um, was kind of struggling with what to do with what the map makers map with what with what the map maker has done with this area. I was like, hmm, how are we going to key this in? I think the way we're going to do it is uh, by hooking this up, as I say. Um, the one risky thing about that is it'll mean putting a level crossing in here which the trains have got to cross um, and that is rather close to this uh, cargo terminal. That's a bit of a risk but I think there's only one train that will back up beyond the length of where that will come out. Um, so I think we should be okay especially because this is going to be uh, just a one way in, into this um, bit of a risk but uh, I'm going to go for it and we'll see what happens um, we can always change it afterwards if it doesn't work or if it causes traffic chaos or what have you at the minute it's run for actually I think that's the suspect train that might be just a little bit too long yeah that might just block that but I think we can get away with it anyway um, right with that I'm going to jump in and I shall uh, See you after the time lapse.
Right, so we're back. Um, just speed that up a little bit so you can see stuff going on. Um, I was going to detail a little bit more around here, but I've got a new model I'm going to show you in a second with the path and lock roads, um, which I've just installed and I was like, yeah, I've got to show people this. Um, but yeah, this turned out pretty nice. As you can see, this level crossing that we were concerned about, some traffic's backing up but as you can see it's not going far before the barrier's up again and there we go everything's free never even really made it to this back road so yeah i think that's um that's gonna work nicely for us quite happy with how that's turned out love these um animated gantries really brings it to life i mean these trains are just always going to be stationary but it looks like everything's getting loaded with the train uh, the cranes moving back and forwards great asset though right this mod i was going to show you love it For those of you who use these parts on that road i'm sure we're all familiar with the um you know doing this gubbins backwards and forwards backwards and forwards and uh, you know align it just so well now, love it, love it, love it, we've got a new mod for that, uh, which, what was that, give us the, that one, very quickly, draw a path and what's in there, and the snap. As easy as you like. And if it does something weird with the snap in there where it wants to overlap, just control X and it still says snap to the side of the road. And then we can just re snap whatever we want. And then this side will do the same. Actually, we'll go to there. It's better, isn't it? And as quick as you like. That's a parking lot done. I'm sure we've all wasted many, many, many hours trying to, you know align them quickly. I know there was a way to do it with move it and align rotation. Um, but even so, oof, that snap on mod, I'm loving that. Right, um what are we gonna do next? I'm thinking uh, as you can see our residential's off the hook a bit so we need to get a bit more high density residential which I'm thinking this little area for that. Then I'm thinking this area here for like theatres, um, picture house, couple of pubs, nightclub, that kind of, you know, high density, commercial, leisure area. Um, that's what we'll be doing next, I'm thinking. Okie cokey. Uh, oh, and quickly, the uh, concerts area, we've had our first upgrade now. And, um, halfway halfway to getting the level three so should be soon enough we can just do the uh, the festival episode that'll be a nice episode right um uh, gonna set up some cinematics and I, as i say i'll set up the day night cycle to speedy and we'll uh, see how that goes and i shall see you for the next episode <laughs>